Well, one thing I'll say first is I'm pulling up pulling up the last year, so I know I've I've got to uh, do a great job here because some of you might be fading. However, hold out, and uh, you will you will get a good presentation here. Now, the name of my portion is connecting with new customers and making a great first impression. First of all, let's give a hand. Let's give a hand to those who have come before me. Just outstanding, outstanding information. Thank, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Mike. If there's one thing I've learned over my years of being an entrepreneur, and that is there's no incorrect way of doing business. We, we all have different skills. We all have different ways of doing things. We all have different ways of thinking. Uh, Jeff Gellner's way is just as good as John Wolfe's way, who is just as good as my way, who is just as good as Jake's way. The main thing is you just have to keep pressing toward a goal. Keep, keep refining, keep building, keep believing. Jeff, keep having faith, keep searching for good people. But that's what you really have to do. Uh, another thing is that... None of these systems will work unless you don't connect with the marketplace. LTL doesn't work if you don't make contact with customers. Jeff's system, John's work, John's system, it doesn't work unless you make, con you know, unless you connect with the marketplace. Obviously, we're in the freight marketplace. And if we just proceed here, I'm going to, first of all, give a little rundown. Here's my outline. I mean, I could go over it a little bit, but I'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and proceed into it. So my, hang on for me. First thing I'm going to talk about here is connecting with new customers. To me, you always, always, always have to connect with new customers. Now, as Jeff said, he connects through referrals. I would say that John has a good referral base. But John's an outgoing guy. I'll bet you he's always out there on the prowl looking for new people. But let's talk about connecting with new customers for a little bit. And the first thing is, if you're not connecting, mostly if you're uh, a newbie, if you're just starting, which I'm assuming that a lot of you have been on, you know, you've been doing this a while. But if you're not connecting, you're going to go broke. And this is something that Dennis Brown said to me one time, being broke is a choice. We're not going to grow by osmosis. We're not going to grow because, you know, the world likes us. We have to take action and reach out, whether it be by referral, by a customer, you know, a, a place we just picked up at. But we have to reach out and bring in new business. You'll, you'll see that part of what I do is I motivate because my system is bringing in new sub-agents. And I'm always on uh, the, uh, the motivating prowl. To, but to start off with my presentation, basically I have to say taking the required steps to live your dreams and do what you desire in life will cost you. It's going to cost you to pick up the phone and make those calls. You'll have to work hard and make sacrifices to keep learning and growing and changing. Are you willing to pay that price? Know this, most people won't. Will you? My failure rate in bringing in new people is 90%. Why? Because they won't do what's required. Question is, will you? Are you going to do what's required? Are you doing what's required? That's the main question I'm going to pose to you today. This is a leaderboard from December 13, just last month. Any, anybody read these? I hope so. I hope I don't send them off. Or <laughs> well, anybody read them? Anybody read them? Okay. I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back here, but does anybody wonder how, I'll say, our office ends up on there as, as often as it does? Or are, are we all focused on our name? Anybody New wonder? New shippers, active shippers, literature. Anybody ever wonder that? Yeah. 
What good grace is Ted Keys getting? Well, there are no good graces. I have a successful system that I've incorporated over the years to not, I mean, my goal is not to get on the leaderboard, but it's to continually work the system. Yeah. And here's basically my recipe for success. The first thing I'm going to say is your customers will eventually leave you. They will eventually leave you, guaranteed. A any comments? Any comments on that? Anybody have a customer leave? Oh, yeah. Mike, do you have any agents leave you? Oh, yeah. yep. They will eventually leave you. It, it's guaranteed. And knowing this is a description of how to succeed, which basically my system is, which is my recipe for success, and that is obtain three new emails and phone numbers each day. Or 15 new emails or phone company or phone numbers each week. Take them, add them to your contact list. Communicate with your list via my email that I send out every week. Now this is for those that are involved with my office. And then for the list, at least call 10 customers each day. Not customers, but prospects. Call 10 prospects. If you keep doing this every day, you, you can't go wrong. Now obviously there are, there are skills you have to put into place on talking to people, you know, getting on the phone, things like that. But if you keep doing this on a daily basis, you're going to be successful. And again, I'm, I'm talking to folks that, that, that are new in the industry or you've been around for a couple of years, okay? Based on that, let's talk about my recipe for failure. And let's start again. Your cust I, I stress this. Your customers will eventually leave you. As, as much as we think that we've got a good thing going, your customers will leave you. And basically, here's my recipe for failure. If you don't do these things, if you don't obtain new emails and phone numbers every day, uh, if, uh, if you don't build your contact list, if you coast or rest on your laurels, if you only service your current customers, thinking, hey, my customers will be around for a long time, believe your customers will remain loyal. Uh, don't call your remaining contact list. Uh, Mike gave a good example here. I mean, you, you go into uh, an LTL company and you start moving freight. Well, eventually, that LTL rep for whatever LTL carrier is going to find out that you're moving freight, you know, that you're moving a lot of freight. I mean, that's just, just, just one example of a customer leaving you. Hey, why should, I, why should I use you when I can get it so much cheaper somewhere else? Don't send emails via, in this example, my, equally, my weekly email that I send out to, uh, to all my agents. And basically that, that equals few or no loads moving and no growth in unpaid bills. It's that simple. So there's my recipe for failure. We don't like that recipe. <laughs> What's that, Mike? We don't like that recipe. <laughs> that is not a good recipe to operate with. <clears throat> this is, this is a, a slide that I give to everybody that's even contemplating joining our office. See, a lot of people think, hey, come on in, and I'm going to show you how to move freight. But here's my first requirement, and that is pursuing, connecting, and relating to freight and shipping customer prospects is essential to your business success. It's imperative that you understand this before joining our highly productive office. The information below is required one week, one week, after signing our private contractor agreement with Green Meadows Productions as a new freight sales agent partner. Basically, before we even go anywhere, you're going to show me that you're going to get on the phone and you're going to connect with the marketplace. Now, I provide, I provide the tools. This, this is my, my, uh, my freight sales success guide. I, I provide the tools. I, show, I, I give you the tool in order to, to take those tools and utilize them in the marketplace. But if you don't come up with at least 20 prospects after you start with us, you're not going any further. And, that, and that's spelled out in the three-page agreement that I send everybody. 
And basically, this is what I require. Customer prospects name, customer prospects company, customer prospects location city, main phone number, email address. All right? If you don't provide them, it's time to move on. Because once you provide them, then, then Maria, my wife, will introduce you to the freight system. Here's an example of a gentleman in Florida. This is Chris. Chris, at the time it was 15. Uh, since then, I bumped it up to 20. But here's just an example of what Chris provided. This is going back to, uh, I, I think it was, uh, it was October, November. I mean, Chris did almost exactly what I told him to. Name of the company, contact, phone number, email address. He didn't list the, the city, but that's okay with me. At least I know that he made contact. Now here's the thing. First of all, once I send my agreement out and they see the slide before, half of them go away. Half of them go away. What? Oh, wow. I guess, I, I guess Ted is serious about that. But then for the ones that do stick around and do this, most of those go away as well. Believe it or not, they'll provide me with 20 initial customer prospects. We'll give them a little training, but a lot of them never hear from them again. Our success rate, our success rate is one in two, okay? But here's the thing. After they go away, we're left with 20 new prospects. That's part of the system. We're left with 20 new prospects, and believe me, those prospects, I then redistribute to the agents that are sticking around and doing what's required to be successful. Simple, bear with me folks. Let's talk about actually attracting customers. And these are just simple, simple guidelines uh, that I'm going to go over with. Simple little intricacies. Uh, the first one, uh, remember when calling, as John went over before. It's not about us. When we first make that first phone call, that prospect could care less about who we are. It is not about us. It's not about LDI. It's about them, their company, their challenges, their needs, their email, phone number, and our solutions. Our solutions. One thing I, I train our customers to do at the end of every uh, er, Every initial call they make is finish with the question, do you keep your options open to adding additional carriers to your freight list? Do you keep your options open to adding additional carriers to your freight list? What are they going to say, no? If they say no, it, it's going to make them feel like, hey, I'm, I'm inflexible, I'm unbendable. Nine times, 90 times out of 100, they're going to say yes. You know, not knowing what you're going to do, but just to sound like they're not inflexible, yeah, I'll add you. I mean, and there's, there's your in. A lot of times they'll say, yeah, send me your information. Well, one of the best forms of advertising that I do is coming up with a top-notch email signature. Because usually they'll say, yeah, send me your information. Well, for me, all of our information for all of our agents are in our email signature. I mean, it's just one of many forms of advertising that we do. But one, th one thing that's important to me is we got the LDI logo on there. We got all our contact information on there. Now, we also put the agent's picture right here, right here, right next to the LDI logo. Why? Because 99 times out of 100, we will never meet this person that we're talking to. However, we want them to see who we are. I mean, even if we're fat, even if we're skinny, good-looking, ugly, just so they can see who we are. All right? Not important to see who they are. Just one form of them feeling comfortable with us. Uh, I do a lot of video marketing, video advertising, there's a video link right there. Just in case anybody wants to, you know, click on, oh, what's this, what's this YouTube uh, about? I'm a big fan of motivating phrases down on the bottom, you know, one of Abraham Lincoln. 
but to me it's important to have your email signature pop out at the individual. Most people don't do that. Here's my intro email template. So somebody says, yeah, send me your information. Well, this is basically a template that I send out that all of our agents send out. Basically, good morning, you just expressed interest. I mean, it's, a lot of it is generic, but the main thing I want to do is have them click on that video. Now, the video is me talking, but at least it's something for a first time prospect to see what this company does. Now, and again, that's my email signature. As you can see, it's a little fancy. Got my big picture up there. Got uh, my, my, my uh, YouTube video link there. I mean, my goal is to, to attract them to that so they can click on that and see exactly who it is you know, that they're talking to. I'm a big fan of doing videos. Uh, later on, if you're interested, I'll show a couple. But basically, that's my intro template. Moving on. This is a, a sample of the weekly email that I send out to all of our sub-agents. It's real, it, it's real plain and simple. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, one line, talk about the new year. What freight is ready to go in 2013? Always asking that question. You know, we'll get it in motion. Send us your load info. Thanks for your business and referrals. How important are referrals, Jeff, Ge Jeff Gellner? Very important. Very, very important. I mean, really, that, that's, that's our right. ultimate goal. That's right. Our ultimate goal is to have people come to us. Right. That's when you know you're doing Would you agree? Yes, sir. That's Perfect. when you know you're doing it right. Boy, when you get that referral, boy. Yippee! <laughs> Who'd you? <laughs> Who'd you, you know, how'd you hear about me? I mean, that's the first question. How'd you hear about me? So anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's just a, a sample of a, of, a, of a weekly email that not only I use, but again, I send to all of our agent partners so they can take the same thing and distribute it as well. I know I'm dealing with a lot of folks that don't have a lot of, well, success in freight, but here's a, here's a you know, quick, easy template for you to use, okay? And again, sample price request response. If you get a rate, re first of all, first of all, every single time I get a rate request, and every time my agents get a rate request, my answer is respond to that request, whatever it is, whatever it is. Come to me, but respond. Even if you don't have anything, even if you don't, you know, you don't have a rate yet. Hey. Have you moved this load yet? Was, were you talking about that, John? Somebody was talking about, uh, Jake. Yeah. Jake. Yep. Somebody asked for a load to be moved. You know, a lane that's so obscure you had never heard about it. But you kept in contact with that individual. Correct, Jake? Mm -hmm. However, when, you, when I do respond, you don't just respond with 1,500. You know, put, put a little effort into it. Again, your goal is to stand out here. Viviana, good morning. I list the place where it's picking up, where it's going to, the rate. Will that work? My goal is to have them connect with me. Always finish it with a question. Will that work? I mean, after the day, I've, 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 I've typed in so many question marks to get people to respond to me. Will it work? You know, what else do I type? Well, I guess I'm, I'm not coming to me. But yeah, will that work? Nice. I'm going to talk a little bit about attracting sales agents. Now, I know a lot of you uh, are not there yet, but if you're going to grow your business, you're going to grow your business beyond me, myself, and I. You have to bring in new people. Correct, Jeff Gellner? Absolutely. John Wolf? Yes, sir. You got to bring in new people. Okay? And if I go back to, uh, if I go back to the agent leaderboard, you know, the top 
I'm going to say the top six, seven have other people working in the office. Okay? But I'm just going to talk about this a little bit. And that's attracting sales agents. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about LinkedIn, YouTube, and Craigslist. Okay? And again, we're talking about attracting. Now, a lot of us use Craigslist. Not Craigslist. LinkedIn. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, I see a lot of you on there. <clears throat> do you just, you know, do you just ask, you know, do you, you, you just connect with people and that's it? Do you, if you do, you think that's the most effective way to, to be successful on LinkedIn? Well, this is just a, a sample of one intro letter that I send, not to everybody, but this would be more for, let's see what this is. Okay, this is where I'm, this is where I'm sending or where I'm connecting with somebody that actually moves freight. Okay, every time I think, is this person moving freight? This is a letter I give them. Hello and welcome. Again, I'm going to put their name on there. I'm going to address them by name. Hello and welcome. Thanks for accepting and connecting on LinkedIn. After reading your bio, it appears we have much in common. May I provide, how, what, my, my first question is to them is this, what may I provide you with 20 plus years of entrepreneurial experience? Basically, I'm saying, how can I help you? I've, I've, got, I've got the experience. How can I help you? That's, that's how I address it first. Here's how you can assist me. Does your company require top-level freight service? Yes. <laughs> Reply with your freight lanes or shipping manager's contact info. Hey, I want info. Either they're going to respond or not. But again, we specialize in moving all shipments throughout North America. Click this short video link now to see how. That link down there is a, is a video, YouTube video of mine. You hear me talking, I'm basically introducing myself and telling them what I'm looking for. Actually, that, that's the main goal, to get them to click that YouTube video so again, they can see who I am, what I'm talking about. This is, this is a letter where I'm a, uh, responding to a potential agent. It's the same thing. Thanks for accepting and connecting on LinkedIn, same thing. Again, my goal is to get them, get them to click that YouTube video, okay? <clears throat> of course, both videos are different. The first one, I'm talking about providing freight service. This one here, I'm talking about joining our agent or joining our office as a freight agent or do you know of anybody else that's struggling? Know of anybody else that's struggling? So, I use LinkedIn. Here's a prime example of a response I got uh, back in November from a gal named Linda. Linda, good afternoon. Hold on a second. Uh, she, she sent me a message. I responded to her. What's a good call? Oh, okay. No, I take it back. Basically, her response was down below. Sent on 11-19 of last year. Ted, hi, please send me freight lanes from steel towns like Detroit, Michigan, Dayton, Ohio, <coughs> Toledo, Ohio, Franklin. Basically, it did what I was, it did what my goal was. I sent her that letter, got her to look at my, my video, and this is what she responded with. Send me freight lanes from these, you know, from these cities. Uh, I know each state has different ways, you know, basically, I'm working with a new company, and I'm not sure how much steel I will buy, but I want to start comparing freight companies. Goal accomplished. Yeah. Just, to get, just to get her to respond to me. And again, this is using LinkedIn. If you're just making connections, LinkedIn is not going to be for you because that's all you're doing. The goal is to show them your value and get them to respond to your value. Because one day, if it's a sales agent, if it's a freight mover, one day they're going to require your service. Okay? But the goal is to stand out above everybody else that's just connecting with them. And every single day, I post my videos, I post something motivational, I post something to get people to respond to me, to get, to, to get noticed. Let's move on here. 
This is my Craigslist ad. Okay? Every week, every week, I send my Craigslist ad to, to, four, to four different cities throughout the country. Okay? And they're main, they're, they're, they're big cities. Uh, freight expert seeks motivated sales agent. Again, you can, you can, you can look through it here. Uh, freight expert seeks motivated sales agent with the following. I list the following qualifications of who they are. Are, are, you, are you this? Uh, do you desire to produce great results? Do you have current sales experience? Do you have current freight broker experience? Again, if you look, there's two YouTube video links in there. That is the goal, to get them to my YouTube video so I can explain in person who I am and what it is I'm looking for. This, this happens to be in San Diego County. And again, when I use Craigslist, you must call me. You must call me. There's going to be no emailing here back and forth. If you use Craigslist and, you, and you know, people start emailing you, don't even respond. Even if, okay, so if they email you, call me back. All right? Call me back. And just finishing up here, I'm going to, once I get people on my email list, I mean, the main, one of the main goals is to, once I uh, talk to people on Craigslist, is to get their email so I can put them on my contact list. Because I know over time, over time, somewhere along the line, whether they're a current agent or, or, or looking to be an agent, if I, keep, if I keep in contact with them, at least through an email, at some point, they're, they're, they're going to come to me. A uh, guy I just brought on the other day contacted me in September. A uh, guy out of Texas. Uh, where was he? Dallas area. Uh, because I kept sending him my emails. And one thing I send out is I call it my daily insight. We're a Christian-based company. That's the first thing I let people know. We're a Christian-based company. We believe in the Bible. We believe in what the Bible has to say. I let people know right away. That's, that's who you're dealing with. Okay? Right off the bat. And what I do is I have a daily insight, and I base it, and it's based on biblical truths, and I'll send that to you daily for inspiration, motivation, and perseverance in times of abundance and drought. And, and, and that's just an example of what I send out on a daily basis. I send out something motivating that somebody said. I send out something motivating that comes from the Bible. Also, to grow your freight business, click this email's attachment, then print and post it where you read and act on it daily. Well, basically, there's always an attachment to my daily insight, and it's something from my sales guide, just to show folks that I've got the goods. I've got the answer to what they're looking for, and that's to be a successful freight agent. I also have what I call my weekly insight. I got this idea from Mike Canistra. Mike, I take it you're a, good, uh, you're a big fan of Jeff Geitemer? Yes. Yeah. OK? Very much so. It's like, wow. Wow, I mean, I, I, get, I get Jeff's stuff weekly now, and I, I've incorporated it into what I call my weekly insight. This is something from Jeff. Uh, it's a sample. Good morning. And it basically talks about something about selling. Something about selling. You know, once you turn a prospect into a customer, you should. Here's a multiple choice question. You know, just something to show them the value that you have. Another thing I do, and again, this is for my sales agents, and I do a, I do a weekly conference call. If there's one thing I've learned in having outside agents is, <coughs> excuse me, There's one thing I've learned, unfortunately, with outside agents is you have to motivate them. Just like corporate does their best to motivate us. Is that true, Mike, yep. Evan? Yes. Do you, do you do, do things to motivate us? No. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> if you're, if you're going to have outside agents, you have to motivate them. I thought that, you know, here, take this and go to work. I mean, that's what I initially thought. But 
It just doesn't happen that way. But you know what? The ones that really have a desire to be successful, they will continue to do what's required to be successful. And the others, they just, they just fall by the wayside. But I've learned that in doing a weekly conference call, in going over basic either freight system ideas or selling ideas, it keeps them motivated. It, it keeps them around longer than if you didn't do anything at all. I did include a letter that I just got from an individual just the other day. Called me up, called me on my Craigslist ad. He's a new guy, well not new, but he's, uh, as you see on the bottom here, I, I'm currently working for USA Transportation Logistics. Been with him for two, three months. That's who I want. That is exactly who <laughs> I'm looking for. That person that's been around for a couple months and he's struggling. He's struggling with an, an outdated system, you know, posting loads individually, you know, on all the different load boards. That this this guy is a prime prospect. And and basically we share a lot in common. But basically, guys like this, they have they have some of the same questions. And if you look for outside agents, you're gonna come across us. These questions are do you charge an office fee? for any of the tools, technology that you provide. Do you provide a customer list? I'm assuming there's no travel involved. Uh, how long on average does it take a new agent to book their first few good loads? But this is, this is you know, a gentleman that went out of his way to show interest in what we have to offer as an office. And this is just a prime example, boy, who I'm looking for. And I can't, get, <laughs> I can't wait to get back to LA to bring him on. I was going to show you some videos. I, I don't know if any of you have any interest in seeing them, but anyway. Questions? Jeff, see, yeah, I've got a question. Uh, when you bring on the sales agents, is it their responsibility to move the freight that they actually book? Absolutely. Okay. So Absolutely. it's up to them if they want to stand there. That's okay, right? It's, it's up to them what? If they want a staff of like dispatchers like what we do, that's the agent's responsibility? Ooh, absolutely. Okay. However, I've never gotten to that point, Jeff. Okay. Uh, my goal is to bring on people that we can teach. Again, right. first of all, show me that they'll connect with the marketplace. Teach and just move loads on their own. Right. As I said earlier, you're going to lose customers. And I know that over time, I'm going to lose agents, okay? Once they get good enough, they're, you know, they're off to something else or they're, they're off to corporate. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, Jeff, it is their responsibility to post their loads and move them. Okay. Got a question? Yes, Jeff. <clears throat> we talk about Craigslist. Uh, how much do you use Craigslist? Where different cities, and on how often do you recruit off Craigslist? And how successful is that that tool for recruiting agents? For agents? Yes, sir. When I use Craigslist, you have to post in the transportation section. I mean, just to give you a little history, you have to post in transportation. Okay. I get a lot of drives. Up. I get a lot of calls from truck drivers, okay? Because you're mixed, you're, you're mixed in there with trucking companies, you know, looking for truck drivers. So you don't, you don't, you don't post the sales. You no. post the I've, I've done that. Right. Yeah, I, I've done sales. Interesting. Yeah, because I, I want to get as, I mean, let's face it, uh, when you've got when you're when you're in a sales position and you want salespeople. Boy, you want them to know just something a little about the industry. Uh, that that's my feeling. You know, that's how I that's how I see it. Again, but that's based on the system that I use or, or that I use. But to answer your question, uh, I I advertise in four different cities 
once a week. Four different cities once a week. And it's always in cities where you have to pay. If you advertise in Jackson, Mississippi, there's a high probability that you won't get one call. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? It's not enough people. If you advertise in Little Rock, you're not going to get a call. But when you advertise in Portland, Seattle, Denver, Salt Lake, you're going to get calls, but you got to pay for those calls. But to me, spending $100 a week is worth it based on the system that I've developed and used with success. John, how many agents do you have with you, and what's the average life expectancy of one of your agents? Boy, it's all <laughs> over the place, John. Uh, right now, I believe in the LDI freight system, there's 18 of the ones that are actually producing five. <laughs> but I understand it was it was so good to hear Jeff Gellner's story. Hey, Jeff Jeff Gellner did not go from here to here in a year, and that's why I asked him, "What did you do before this?" I mean, it's it's systematic. Sure. I know that as I keep refining my system, just like John does, just like Jeff does, that my system will get better and better. Uh, I've been advertising on Craigslist for over a year. I'm in this year, 2014. <clears throat> I'm seeing the quality of my agents are better. Hmm. You know. That's when I get James here calling me. What are you, what are you doing different to get that res kind of response to increase? Do you know? Or you Blessing from above. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting better, like too. I, I'm getting better, yep. and I'm, I'm being blessed. Yep. I'm receiving a blessing. Awesome. But did I answer your question, John? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I just, kind of I did, just, like, I mean, you didn't really tell, I mean, six months, a year, I know you said there's a variable, but, like, have you got, have you gotten anyone that's been with you a couple of years, you know? My, my oldest one has been with me for a year, and he's in Tijuana, he's in Mexico. Not that that matters, but he has, he has access to U.S. numbers. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I understand that I'm going to go through turnover. But I also understand that I've got to get better and better at what I do to keep them around. And my conference call, I'm finding out, is, is keeping them around. <coughs> One more time. John? <laughs> we got a couple of questions. Uh, no problem. Um, your conference call, and you went through it. I was writing notes down here when you did it. Do you do a conference call once a week, you said? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. And that was all your agents are on there that are available. But you would like them to be there. Uh, and what? Uh, what do your, I say? What your format? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, if you don't mind, I mean. Not at all. Okay. Every week on my conference call, I choose one, one topic. You know, one page, one page from my sales guide here. Uh, for example, just real quickly. This last Tuesday, a couple days ago, I did, and again, it, a lot of it is mood. Gee, what do I talk? feel like talking about this week mm -hmm. to keep, to motivate, to motivate my people, my peeps. Uh, this week I spoke about, what did I speak about this week, Renee? You spoke about the words that you should and should not use while engaging in conversation on the prospect or any, Look any at that. Very good. Wow. <laughs> Word choice. How to how to effectively speak with prospects? Uh, who? <laughs> you know, one sample is. Um. Uh. Well. Uh. What's my name? Uh, yeah, my name's Ted. Uh. And oh, John. 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 I'm calling because. Uh, Sick. 
Come on. Calling uh, to get your uh, fridge. Just, uh, is that why? Uh, uh, so I, I've got a list of topics here in my freight guide. Uh, that even, even though it's in the guide, I pick a topic every week and I, 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 get, I dig into it deeper. You know, what, is, what does it really mean? So again, it, it's just part of me refining my system. And I keep, I keep adding to this, uh, you know, every couple months just to make it better. But that's what, that's what I'm doing for now, Josh. Thank you. One more last one. I'm sorry, guys. No, you don't. Uh, I don't get the network very often. Hey, yeah. all right. <laughs> your target market. Okay, well, do you have like a demographic profile that you're looking for, or does it matter as long as they can sell? I mean, what are you what are you looking for? Excellent point. I'm gonna go back to my. Hold on here. Something I forgot to include. <coughs> Down below, top three agents by new shippers. I don't remember the last time I brought in a new customer. So, if it's not me, who's who's doing who's doing that? It's my sub agents. So I don't remember the last time I brought in a new customer. But to answer your question, whoever's shipping freight, whoever has a freight requirement. And again, those loads are those customers are brought in by my sub agents because I'm teaching them how to effectively and successfully do it. Unfortunately, not all of them stick around. But when they leave, they've left they've left information behind. And obviously, I take that information and all right, Bill, take this new customer. Sue, take these take these prospects. So when they when they do leave, I've got information. But yeah, I I don't remember the last time I brought in a customer. My my focus is on bringing in new agents. Does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you. Great job, Ted.